I have people ask me all the time, Jono, do you work everywhere in the city? The answer is it depends. If you're a pain in the ass, no, I have a very small, very small buy box. If you're a cool person, I'll go just about anywhere in the city to work with cool people. There's a lot of really great places that you could live in Dallas-Fort Worth or the Metroplex if you're nasty. Oh, I am. We really specialize on this north end. I had someone ask me the other day, what are your what are your boundaries? We don't we don't really have any hard boundaries, but our bread and butter is from the George Bush or the GBT up to I would say the Oklahoma border. But really, we service the entire Metroplex. If you're looking for something in Waco, we're not your guy. I'm not your guy. I can find you an awesome agent down there, but if you're watching this channel, it's probably because you're interested in the DFW Metroplex and our service area really depends on how cool you are. <laughs> if you want to know if you're cool, down in the description there's a link. If you'll fill that out, I'll get in contact with you. I call everybody myself. We'll figure out if you're cool or not. Yes, I am super cool. All kidding aside, we want to get a good sense of what's important to you and figure out based on where you are and what's important to you and your family, we'll help you identify service areas. Okay, well the scope of this video is really to try to try to head some of that stuff off at the pass. So let's get into it. Now I live up here in Prosper and we moved here in 2009. That was a long time ago. Depending upon what's important to you, there's a lot of really great places. If you're looking to build a family, there's arguably nowhere in the country better to build a family. Whether your kiddos are into sports or academia is important, there's so many great public schools and private schools all over the city, there really is something for everyone. Including you. <laughs> One of the coolest things about the city, cool is probably not the word. If you can see, all of these yellow lines are major highways, including Interstate 35 that runs all the way from Mexico all the way up to Canada. Yes, Canadian bacon. You've got Interstate 30 that cuts through uh, east and west. You've got Interstate 20 that cuts through east and west to the south. And that's just the interstates. There are a lot of, of toll roads getting in and around the city that you just need to be aware of when you're coming here. And depending upon what, what your income is, your monthly budget, the toll roads may not be that big of an issue to you. So this line right here is Preston Road. And it's a great way to get into Dallas if this road road is backed up, the Dallas North Tollway. Traffic, traffic, no more traffic. But as you're coming into the city, you've got the Dallas North Tollway, which presently ends at Highway 380. From the Tollway to Custer, it's pretty open. This is an overpass. There's a light here at La Cima, a light at Coit, and a light at Custer. And outside of that, it's wide open. Getting north and south, whether you're coming through Custer or Coit or Preston or the Tollway, or really even 423, it's, it's pretty easy to get north and south. If you're going east and west, outside of the areas that I mentioned, God help you. Oh, no. Unless you are coming at you know the middle part of the day, if it's during rush hour traffic, you're gonna you're gonna hate life. That's kind of the north end. As you come through other parts of the city, Central Expressway is another name for Highway 75. This is a toll road. The Dallas North Tollway is a toll road. There are sections of 635 that are free. 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 And there are sections that are toll based. You know, parts of 820 over here in Fort Worth, there's express lanes. But all that to say, there are so many ways and alternate routes to get around the city, no matter where you're coming from, whether they be surface streets, service roads off of the major highways. Gates, tunnels, vents, everything. In terms of hot cities, if you have a family, of course, I'm a little partial. I think Prosper is one of the greatest cities you could raise a family in. Salina, there's a lot of really great stuff going on up there. A lot of people are leaving Prosper because it's too big. They see the wave of people coming in from states like California and New York and New Jersey. It's too big. They remember when it was a little town and they're out of here. Well, good for you. If that's your mentality, Prosper is probably not the place for you. In North Texas, all the schools are amazing. I went to high school in Western Kentucky, and I've said many times on this channel, I'm lucky I, I can count above 10 without taking my shoes and socks off. 
It's hard for me to complain about school systems coming from where I grew up. You'd be hard pressed to make uh, a bad choice as it relates to school systems. Some are better than others, but part of the reason Collin County taxes are so high is because of the school systems and the resources that we as residents choose to put into those school systems. Don't win taxes. Don't win taxes. But, you know, McKinney's great, Allen, Lucas, are folks that are looking for a little bit more real estate, but they still wanna be in a really amazing school system. As you dive in here, you've got Lovejoy, you know, gosh, I could go on and on about attractions. You know, we talked about Frisco. I'm a massive Frisco fan. Toyota Soccer Field is here off of the Tollway and Main Street. Concerts and sporting events. That's where FC Dallas Football Club plays. Just down from that, you've got the Star at Ford Center. I mean, this thing, look how big this is. So right at Warren Parkway, all of this upscale retail, Concrete Cowboy, Mikasina, Lombardi, Tupelo Honey. Like there's some really cool spots. D. Lincoln is a great steak, steakhouse. Steak? <laughs> Did you say steak? But right here snuggled up to the Ford Center, the Cowboys practice facility. And a lot of people in this uh, right in front of the star will just come out here and take pictures and throw the ball around and, and hang out at this little, like a common grounds, right in front of the entrance to the star. So this is another cool spot right here at the Tollway and 121 is Granite Park. There's some cool restaurants here, a lot of nightlife, chill nightlife, right? Like not clubs, but people will come in here and grab drinks at one of these restaurants and just sit out on this little boardwalk overlooking the lake, pond, and just hang out. It's a really clean, safe spot to just hang out and chill. If you're wanting a little bit more flashy nightlife, dancing, things like that, you've got some spots here at the Shops of Legacy. In terms of shopping, Stonebriar Mall is the closest mall in North Dallas. As you come a little further south on the tollway, you've got the Shops at Willow Bend. Shops at Willow Bend, this is a mall right here at uh, Park and, and Tollway. Can you tell I don't go to the mall at Shops at Willow Bend much? But I mean, they're everywhere, all over the city, up and down Preston. I mean, everything and anything that you could want, you can find on Preston Road, especially if you just drive far enough south. Anything and everything that you can get into in any major city, Dallas offers that. And there's easy access to it. Now let's say you live on the North End and you don't really wanna take an Uber all the way down. We have a pretty decent uh, light rail system that runs up and down 75. So what some folks will do, <laughs> is they'll park at one of the light rail stations. That way you can take the light rail up to your car and then call an Uber from there and then have the Uber come and you can take another Uber out there in the morning. Otherwise you just Uber from your house and it's, it's not that big a deal. Dallas has a really great airport. Dallas Love Field is right here, straight down the tollway. And you've also got this monstrosity DFW International Airport, not too far from it. Alliance Airport is over here in Fort Worth. There's airports in Addison, smaller private airports, also up in McKinney. Depending upon what level of the game you're playing at, it's so easy to get in and out of the city, whether you're flying privately or commercially. I only fly first class. Class. You know, it's like, what, what else do you want? Where do local people go if they want to get away for the weekend and get out of the city and hang out? Let's clean this place up. Let's get out of this hole. There's a lot of options there too. One of the more recent favorites is Broken Bow, Oklahoma, which is right here. A lot of folks, when they're ready to expand their real estate arsenal, will buy a cabin up in Hoochatown, or it's more commonly known as Broken Bow out here, but the lake is up in Hoochatown. And it's about a three and a half hour drive to get from DFW up to Broken Bow. Another cool spot is down here in the wine country, Fredericksburg. I mean, Austin has got its moments too if you wanna just change of pace, but if you're already in the city and you wanna get away, it's probably not to another major metro city, but coming down here into Fredericksburg, uh, going up into Broken Bow, it's a great way to get away for the weekend, three or $400 a night, and you've got a really cool spot out in the woods with a hot tub, just you and your sweetie, it's a great way to get out and unwind and do what you do to relax and unwind away from the city. 
No, he said it, not me. Listen, I've had a blast hanging out with you. Hopefully this has been inspirational and educational. And if nothing else, uh, we got to hang out a little bit more. If you got a minute, check out this video right here where I break down the top five suburbs. If you're coming to Dallas, Fort Worth, we'll see you next time.